Jimmy's such a good girl. Seems like every time I come outside, I bust her cleaning one of my trucks. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> She's rain-xing his windows. What'd you do with the rain -X? I didn't do anything with it. Thank you, honey. Love you. We're getting ready to go get a uh, boomer sling, which is going to be very helpful because I can just stick the sling on the back. My buddy's uh, Scott and Adam at Intermountain Innovations got the sling all fixed up, redid it, fixed a bunch of cracks, weak stuff, made it nice. They make nice stuff. But, what? That's the micro lock for the brakes to lock the brakes on, which works sometimes. Yeah, sometimes it works. Yeah, it'll make it a lot easier. We put the sling on there, hook up to these trucks that have front bumpers and roll, and uh, not even have to use the trailer. Just haul it down there. What? That guy looks like he should be fired up and just take off. Oh, that guy? Yeah, I like him. That's Homer's body. Plane. That would be the equivalent of Homer in a GMC. <laughs> Except that's a one ton and Homer's a two ton. He's a big boy. Anyway, we're going to go get the sling. Let's go get the sling. Trouble. I gave Thunder a facelift today. Jamie said she didn't notice any difference, but I did. Check the video. I want to make time. sure his eye lens is never turned yellow because those are my favorite eyeballs on those cars. Yeah, I don't know if his will. I think they might be glass. It's got all the AMG hookups. There's nothing cheesy on that. Kenmore! He's running. Kenmore! He'll drive up on the trailer. That guy will drive up on the trailer. Banana Rammer will drive up on the trailer. Ah, Banana Rammer's gonna drive all the way there. <laughs> yeah, Intermountain Innovations. These are the guys that do all my fab stuff for me. They hooked up uh, Tug's Forks, and he's been picking up trucks and stuff. And uh, there's the bed for Boomer. It's my project that they're working on. And there's part of his cab. They're stretching the cab. I'll show it to you in a minute. But we're here to pick up my sling for my tow truck. They went through and redid because it had some issues. It was not safe. They got but, another cool machine here. But Oh, yeah. And this is what Steve does right here. He makes these slabs out of wood. They got a slabber over there that's powered by a Mopar Slant 6. Pretty cool stuff. That's what Steve does right there. My buddy Steve. Anyway, let's go look at my sling and let's go check out Boomer. Down here hanging out with my buddy Steve till... Uh, <laughs> Adam gets out. Adam redid my whole sling. Those yellow pipes or pipes that I, that I gave him, but he welded new ends on them. And the other stuff was just all bent and cracked. I'll get a better shot of this when I put it on, but I can tell he did a really good job. He always does. Probably hold up better than thinner pipes. Yeah, Adam <laughs> does spectacular work. This is my project truck boomer that he's been working on for a while. I am not cracking the whip on this dude because he is doing some awesome work on this. He's integrated this 1955 GMC cab onto this 2007 King Ranch floor pan and firewall. The idea with this truck is to have all the modern features on an old school truck. He's going to stretch his cab out. I've already made an extra long bed to go on it. It's going to be a beast and I call it Boomer. He custom fabricated that whole radiator core support right there and trust me there was a lot involved with him doing that. He has grafted this cab onto the old firewall where I can utilize all the new heating and air conditioning stuff. He's just doing a spectacular job. This is before so this is what he's doing. That's the new firewall and the engine and stuff from the front forward and that's the old cab and he actually hand makes all this stuff welds each piece in there and he's not just scabbing it together the guy does just top quality work he's actually put a lot of time into making sure that my ducting matches up and the plenums are all working he's making sure water has places to drain and I'm really impressed with the work he's doing good guy real good guy knows his stuff we're getting ready to head out to the property. Kind of rainy, probably gonna be soggy out there. 
got to keep moving forward. Anyway, the reason I'm showing you this lovely box van is because that's kind of on today's list of things to get running. Now, it doesn't need much to be running. I bought this from a wrecking yard that was closing down and it was blocking one of their roads and they couldn't get it running. They sold it to me for a thousand dollars. I got it running. I've been using it to store a lot of my parts in, but right now it's a moving truck with a lift gate, a hydraulic lift gate on the back that works. It needs a fuel pump. There's a frame sitting out there at the property that I bought from a guy and the only reason I bought it from him was because it was a 1946 Chevy truck frame complete with the engine and everything. While I was out there looking at it, I did notice an electric fuel pump on it. I just put an electric fuel pump on our Bullfrog dump truck. It cost me a hundred bucks to put that on. So I'm gonna grab that mechanical electrical fuel pump off that frame out there and see if I can possibly clean it up, get it going, and get this guy going because we have Farmer John coming over tomorrow. He's going to spend the weekend with us and I'm going to work him like a dog. <laughs> hey, he wants work and I'm willing to let him live with us while he works. That way we don't have to spend time going and getting him. He can just be working. Good guy. If you can get him on the job site, he's worth his weight in gold. Anyway, I'll try to get this running today with that fuel pump out there. And we'll have Farmer John give this thing a good pressure washing and have a halfway respectable moving van to move. I also wanted to show you the quality work that Intermountain Innovations did on Homer's sling. And we have a truck out there that's still loaded on Homer. I got to go out there, unload it, and then we're going to go make a short trip up the hill to my buddy Ron who we bought one truck from and I did agree to buy another truck from a 1938 Chevy and I got to follow through on that wouldn't be getting another truck if it wasn't so close and I hadn't promised him I would so let me show you this sling that Intermountain Innovations fixed up for me oh Jess, Jess got a new jacket Jamie got him a new jacket yesterday you already been rolling around in the mud haven't you old boy <laughs> He's got the weather beater. Yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to take a moment to show uh, some people. I'm really happy with the work that they do over there. Intermountain Innovations, they're building a project truck for me right now. They actually fixed these forks on my forklift. Now, I was able to, whenever they broke or cracked, weld them up, but my welds don't look like that. They did a really good job on these, but they also fixed up my sling. I was really worried about using my sling at all because it had things like this going on and bent pieces and stuff like that. So this is their idea of what should replace this and I agree with them 100%. I supplied them with these old pieces of pipe I had that were a lot bigger around than these and they took and beefed up my whole thing. I have some new rubber to put on there. That wasn't really their responsibility. They are welders, fabricators great guys over there that do quality work and I don't think I'm gonna have any trouble with this sling at all if I do it'll be with the rubber and it won't be their fault but we'll get that replaced as soon as we get everything moved out of here I just want to give them a shout out because they always do top-notch work down there it's just look at the size difference yeah yeah they believe in beefing stuff up making it right they're kind of like the people that used to build these old trucks they make stuff to last they don't want to be embarrassed by their work and I've never seen anything that was less than spectacular that they've made. They do good work. They take pride in their work. And that's why we keep going back to them. Intermountain Innovations in Canby, Oregon. Good people. Good shop. So we're going to run over to the property, unload a truck that's on the back of Homer and Marge, and then we're going to take a short trip up the street to get a really cool truck. And I normally wouldn't be taking time out of our busy schedule to go get trucks right now, but it's a truck we agreed to buy. We agreed to buy two trucks from this guy. We already got one. This will complete our obligation as far as that. And once we get our building up, we're going to be restoring a very rare car for this guy who's had it since it was brand new for free because we like him. <laughs>
Well, really, it needs to be packed in, and we've never had a chance to pack it in. You want to know what's funny? What? On the map of the little tributary stream, it comes from there, and it goes around to where we were by our driveway. That's not good. <laughs> We're expecting some surprises as far as water flow out here, but uh, it's what we have. Well, as long as we have tents and really thick gravel, we'll just filter it on We still through. got a dump truck, and the rock quarry's still four miles down the road. I could probably jockey that back and forth to get it unstuck, but this is about where I want to put this truck anyways, over here. So this is as good a spot as any to get it unloaded. Plus, I want to get over there and get that 38 Chevy, don't you, honey? Pretty oh, yeah. cool old truck. Mm -hmm. put some gloves on because I don't have a way to wash my hands. Well, that's not true. Well, I go to the... You got a freaking river and a stream and there's a nice little puddle right there. And a frothy, cold breakfast coffee drink. And a baby wipe. Or gloves. Or you could just wipe your hands on my butt. What if I don't cut that out? Oh well, I'll have two handprints on my butt. <laughs> <clears throat> what are you laughing at? Yeah, you. He's so cute. Look at him. He's so cute. Oh, there's somebody hiding over there. Digger, what are you hanging out with? Homer smokes like crazy when you first start him up, but after he's been running for 10 minutes, he doesn't smoke at all. Why is that his rings? Uh, probably hard valve guide seals, little rubber seals on the top. I know of the what cylinder. they are. Oh, you probably do. I do. <laughs> Look at over here, Digger's all. <laughs> I'll just, I'll just move to the ranch, and I made me a new friend. I know he's not one of us, but. He, he's, he, he's an international, and I like him. <laughs> See, even, even our trucks like other people. Digger made friends with an international since he's moved Well, they've been hanging out together. Yeah. The difference between Digger and that international is... Digger will start up and drive himself over here. Yeah, and the difference is Digger's a gossiper. Remember how him and the mule would gossip out back behind the I remember how you used to tell me they were gossiping. <laughs> well, you tell me how old Jamie. Yeller talks about me biting his ear well, Old Yeller's got rights to talk about you and your driving. You want to open that Lit can of worms? You want to open that can of worms? Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is a roller. You didn't know that when you rolled it onto the well, trailer? Well, <laughs> he used to have a wheel locked up on him. I didn't know because that thing's going to drag it whether the wheel's locked up or not. I don't remember things. So, like if there was a solid skid mark all the way up. <laughs> yeah, watch this. I'll show you how to unload a truck. Yeah, watch this. <laughs> Duluth tree. <laughs> Uh, this is a great invention. This is called a slow down block. Looks like a busted up railroad tie to me. What's a speed up block? This is a kind of cool setup. It's a little tug. I don't want to get in front of it when I tug it, though. Can't you stand on the side of it and get leverage on its doors? I could run my cable from I my know winch. About, 
all the way under the trailer and up to the bumper. But I don't want to do that. I know about you. Yeah. You're like Mr. Olympia at one point, no. right? I just need to get the sun so I can go pick up. No, that but pickup. you were Mr. Olympia. I gotta go pick up a pickup. I know, but you were Mr. Olympia or some weightlifting Superman. 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 I did win the Superman competition you back did. in the day. Back in the day, you mean, oh, get out of the way. Get out of the way. See the slow down blocks in action? Did it even yeah. touch it? It didn't even touch him. It ran over with the front tire and it slowed it down. That's a slow down I block. Because you're like candy, baby. You're hot, sweet, and sticky. And loaded. <laughs> and loaded. <laughs> Load it! Load it! Go, my viewers go and Courage and Jamie. Listen your, after midnight. Do one of your, uh, do one of your commercial jingles, honey. My commercial? It's like soup or something because it's cold. Soup? Or, yeah. You can roll a rollo to your friends, chocolate and caramel from it. That's not soup. You should have seen her hips. Oh no way! She was singing. That. Squirt, squirt, squirt the animals whenever you take a bath. Soup. You can squirt the animals with the four percent squirt to make you laugh. I don't know a soup one. You did. So you did a Campbell soup one. Before. Soup is good food. I don't know. Good. Hmm. Viewer tip, lift with your knees, not with your back. See, I think about your guys' comments when I'm out here doing this stuff. Lift with your knees, not your back. Yeah, and keep tubs of car parts. Keep going. <laughs> keep tubs of car parts far away from your navel piercing. Because I will attest to mine got ripped completely out. Oh, yeah. Jamie had a, <laughs> a belly ring or something yeah. in her belly but she was carrying some heavy part and it ripped her belly ring out. Yeah. Then I had like it was lifting weird. with my knees see and then my arms. Another Hands viewer on. said that I should make little bars that go from here to here and secure the ramps with pins, which I agree. That's a an good awesome safety idea. Feature. Yep. But right now and we still got about 40 trucks to move. And that old 38 Chevy to go pick up right now. My plan was to fix the wipers on Hover before we go, but it's not raining right now and the 38 Chevy's just up the road. So I'm just gonna make sure we have the tools to get the job done and we're gonna go for broke. This guy will probably move now. I'm gonna go ahead and let Homer warm up till he stops smoking, which is probably something I should do all the time anyway. I just figure that extra oil in there helps lube everything up. But uh, we'll let him warm up, and I'm pretty sure he'll walk out of this now. If not, we have devices. Truck. He's so beefy driving down the road. Homer and Marge. Ooh, in a muddy, nasty hole. up his tow truck. <laughs> He's such a goofball. Uh, hi, Polly. Bully, bully, bully. 
That is the cutest face ever. <laughs> so awesome. I want to walk down to the stream real quick. See if I can get there before he... Anybody out there knows what... I mean, this, this is my first diesel truck. Well, actually my third, but my, my, my own. What does defueling coolant mean on your super tuner? I never can figure that out. Oh, here we go. I know I don't have much power when it's in that defueling coolant mode. This is just the stream. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, animals have been going down there. Oh, the beavers have been gnawing on that tree some more. They are busy at work, right there. That is so fresh. I want to see one.
way the bed's shaped. Yeah, they're neat old trucks. He's got, he's got curves. What year is this guy? Right. What year is this one? 1938 Chevy. Oop. I wonder what the story is behind that. That's not a good place. Don't want slippery hands on the winch controls. <laughs> Like jet, like you've been rolling in the mud. I've been rolling in the mud. Did I see it? That might have been enough, huh? done for the day <laughs> but I forgot to grab that fuel pump that I was talking about earlier I do keep track of my goal list for each day and one of my goals was to get our moving van running and I bought this frame from a guy out here it's getting mushy bought this frame from a guy out here and uh, I noticed an electric fuel pump on it electric mechanical fuel pump on it that frame right back there um, I gave the guy 150 bucks for the frame just because it had the engine and stuff on it and uh, hopefully this mechanic or electric mechanical fuel pump will work on it and I won't have to spend a hundred dollars getting a why is that so blurry why are you guys so blurry in there? Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, I spent a hundred bucks on the electric fuel pump for Homer. Got my 38 Chevy. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that old truck. 
anyway uh, it's gonna get dark on me so I'm gonna go ahead and try to get that truck running tonight I was kind of tired when we got home but I got my second wind Digger can drive over to the parking area I got my second wind so I'm gonna come out here and pull this mechanical fuel pump I've had one of these just like this that was on one of my old trucks and I just took it apart and cleaned it up put it back together and it's still working good today on the truck that I put it on so I'll get that off of there when I get home I'll probably set up some lights and get our moving van running because you know the more I can get done in one day the more progress we make got to get this engine covered up oh goodness did not notice that the uh, I'll put something over that can't have open holes on the engines and this is a 1946 Chevy engine and then when I return we'll be back at the old place and I'll set up some lights and I'll do my best to get a Curtis that's what Jamie calls the moving van Curtis she named him I don't know why it's Curtis but it's Curtis we'll get that running I've got farmer John coming over tomorrow he's gonna spend the weekend with us and uh, work all weekend up till Tuesday I think we'll get some trucks moved like that old 38 Chevy it's got a really nice grill on it anyway I gotta get to work well I got my crusty old fuel pump off of that frame and put power to it I stuck a battery down here and ran power to it and it doesn't work which you know you get a <laughs> electric fuel pump off a 1946 frame you got to figure it's a little old and might have been sitting there a while so I'm gonna have to uh, take it apart usually there's something stuck somewhere inside of one of these and get that to pump because farmer John's coming out tomorrow and I told him I'd have a running driving moving van for him to wash up and get ready to move stuff and you know it's a hundred bucks if you go down to the auto parts store and get a new fuel pump like I did for my dump truck we could do that and save some time but sometimes you got to do a little work to save some money so I'm gonna take that apart wish me luck hopefully we can get a heartbeat out of it I had this buddy his name's Jack he's a family friend he uh, was, was one of my mom's best friends. Last time I saw him, Jack was fine and dandy on the 4th of July. And then the next time I saw him was a week before Veterans Day uh, in the VA hospital in Vancouver, Washington. And he didn't look good. But he did accept the Lord. He did pray with me and accept the Lord as his Savior. And the previous time I had asked him to say that prayer with me, he told me to F off. So I'm glad he didn't tell me to F off that time. I feel better about Jack. Good guy. Little shout out to Jack Cannon, a friend of my family's. That uh, I gotta take this fuel pump completely apart to get it to work. And I've been hauling this, the tool bucket around for a while, and I use my tools every day. It, I get tired of emptying the bucket out. I got this toolbox here. I got a couple other things. Uh, my mom, uh, Jack, spent a lot of time with her. She knew what he wanted done. They had plenty of time to talk, so uh, she spent a lot of time cleaning out his place, and there were a few things that she gave me, and one of them was this toolbox right here. Another thing, we're going to walk through my messy garage real quick. And another thing Jack had was this old turntable right here that was going to get tossed out and thrown in to the Goodwill. And uh, it's a Canwood. And I'm going to clean that up and get that working. And also his speakers, old stereo speakers. And I know Jack used to love to listen to albums. My goal is one day to, one day not too far from now, to have that phonograph and his speakers set up in my shop and listen to some of his music because she has some of his albums too. But right now, I'm going to take this old plastic toolbox, there's nothing in it, and just put my day to day tools that I use every day in it so they'll be dry and easier to carry. And then I'm going to tear the fuel pump apart and keep moving forward a little shout out to Jack Cannon good guy gonna miss you peace out anyway that only took about 10 minutes so transferred from the tool bucket 
to the toolbox from my buddy Jack and uh yeah that's just temporary you know but it's better than the bucket and I have been using my tools every day and I have a lot more room to put all those tools that I wish I had with me on my day to day stuff while we're moving and uh, I'll get to work on that fuel pump I'll just put new leads on I've got the fuel pump put back together I took it apart cleaned it up found a stuck valve in it and uh, so I'm uh, putting new wires and leads on it so I can just take it over to the truck and bolt it on if it works it does seem to be working Anyway, I gotta stay up and get Curtis running tonight because Farmer John's coming to spend the weekend with us. He decided it'd be better for him to move in with us temporarily and earn a good wage for a little while, right? Does he know that he's driving this? Well, no, he's not driving it, honey. <laughs> oh. He's cleaning it tomorrow. Oh, I thought he was driving. That's why I'm getting it running. <clears throat> this is a moving van that Jamie and I bought, what, two years ago? It was in a wrecking yard that these guys were selling all these old cars out of. And you guys, we've got hundreds of hours. Well, we've Pretty got much. probably about 100 hours of video. Two months. From buying uh, cars out of that wrecking yard and salvaging parts and everything. But Curtis was blocking one of their roads. And they had been trying for, what, a month to get them running? Yeah. Something like that. And they said, ah. If you want it, it's a thousand bucks. So I bought it and I got it running. And the minute I had it fired up, they came literally out of the woods and immediately started treating us differently and mm -hmm. tried to keep this truck. Yeah, they sabotaged it and pilfered all of our parts that we took off. And But we got Curtis. And, it, and Curtis was a good thing. Yeah. And he helped it. <laughs> one He's of my got a Volkswagen <laughs> coil on him. No, he doesn't. Uh -huh, remember I got it out of a Volkswagen Scirocco? You did. I did. You did. I forgot. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, right now, he's hugging uh, the love boat a little close over here. And in order to hook his fuel tank up, <laughs> I have to get the door open over there, which isn't going to happen. So you'll see one of my custom racing fuel cells that I often use just to get a vehicle running and move to where I need to get it moved. And right now all I need it to do is back up to the garage so Farmer John can clean it tomorrow. So that's what we're going with. And uh, a few other things I gotta do to it. Uh, but I will. Yeah, don't drink this water. Don't drink the water! Gonna get Curtis running. I'll come back and do a short video when I have him running. And then I'll be uploading, and then tomorrow's a new day. Tomorrow's an exciting day. What happens tomorrow, Jamie? I get my hair done. And what else happens tomorrow? What am I doing tomorrow? Oh, you're going to go sign papers on our property. Yes, we're making the down payment on our property and signing the contract. Yes. You're so cute. Look at you. God is good. God is great. And uh, people are crazy. <laughs> Yeah, but the guy that we're getting our property from ain't crazy. He's just cool. Yeah, he right? is. Real cool yes, guy. he is. And he saved it for us. And has worked with us. And tomorrow we're going to pay him and doing it. sign on the dotted line. And we're excited about that. And we'll get Curtis running. And it's raining. And i got to go to work. This is good. This is a very good moment. This whole moving van hasn't moved <laughs> in, uh, well, I guess a year and a half. This joke's probably not set right or anything. I still gotta dial him in, but this is Curtis, our moving van, and this will save us a lot of money. Uh, and this guy runs pretty good, too, when he's running. He's a little grumpy, it's late. Had to do a little more than I anticipated to get him running, but uh, good old moving van. Farmer John's going to be out here tomorrow to get this cleaned up for me, and he cleans up pretty good too. And uh, he's got a huge box on the back and uh, a lift gate, which I hope is working now. 
running. Put all new oil in Curtis. Uh, I'll deal with his fuel tank tomorrow. I already put a new fuel tank in him when I first got him. And uh, it's not hooked up right now because I couldn't get in between these trucks to get the passenger side door open to hook that up. But I will hook it up tomorrow. But the good news is I can back it out of here, hopefully, and uh, get Farmer John started cleaning it up. And uh, oh, lift gate's not working. Okay, got to figure out what the deal is there. I got to have my lift gate. I might have to address this ground cable before we have any success but uh let's go see if we got lift gate that'd be nice then I could go eat and go to bed that would be good <sighs> gotta go put my toys away first Well, my headlight stopped working and I did cheat on the way back from uh, on the way back from putting my tools away. I couldn't help myself but pull the lever. And you guys aren't going to be able to see this. But we guessed correctly because I'm back here at the back of the moving van and pulling the lever for the lift gate. And that's what we want to hear. Curtis doesn't have dash lights. Always got a heater control light. Homie's oh, got wipers. <laughs> oh, that might have been a bit much to put on him right now. Classic truck rescue. Got Curtis. Got in and drive again. Took him for a test drive out back. Need to do a little work on the brakes. John's going to do a farmer job. He's going to be out here tomorrow and clean it up for us. I think I got my lift gate working good. Yep, goes down. That'll be very helpful. Amy will like this. A lot of help with the house, and it goes. Uh, that's the most important thing. <laughs> Not really lift gate if it doesn't lift. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Right on. Good to go. Long day, but this is good. Needed to get this old anchor running. Got to dial it in a little bit. Probably need to adjust the car. Uh, do a couple of things to it. But yeah, ran and drove real nice. Anyway, I'm going to bed. Moving that box man gave me a perfect place to park Homer and Marge. Right there. Yep. Where it's not blocking everything and taking up room anyway we're uh, working on the getting stuff out of the hot rod barn today farmer John came over yesterday oh yesterday I signed the papers on the property we own our property so that's cool especially since I've put all that time and work and money into it but uh, uh, farmer John did a really good job of cleaning the box man it actually looks uh, Kind of respectable, old Curtis. He's even named this guy Curtis. And uh, cleaned up good, running and driving real nice. 
The lift gate's working perfect, so this is a very welcome addition to our arsenal of tools for moving. And uh, when I bought this, I kind of had second thoughts about it. And do I really need a big moving van? And for what I paid for it, I paid a thousand dollars for it. And for what I paid for it, I think it's going to earn its keep right now. And, uh, because we did shop around for moving vans and moving services and I think between Curtis and Farmer John we're going to save a lot of money John's going to be able to make some money Farmer John what are you doing back here? Farming. You're, you're up in the hood <laughs> Farmer John's up in the hoods it's a monsoon actually it's not monsooning right now but uh there's been a lot of water whole Portland metropolitan area is flooded got the stuff going on where you got water coming out of manhole covers and stuff anyway we still got to move we got a little more time now just talk to my lawyer apparently I got till the end of December to have everything moved and I'm good with that that will work because I'm way ahead of the game now with my moving van up and running anyways we decided to quit wasting money. There's a lot of good spots and, and, and uh, I feel like the work that we did out here was good and very beneficial. But there are some problem spots that I've identified. And Jamie went and got two rolls of this here stuff that we're gonna apply. So uh, this is underlayment, goes under the gravel. I know I should have put it down first, but hey, I had to do what I had to do. And uh, at least now I know where I really need it. I think I got about a thousand feet there. So I'm gonna put it on the areas where I need it, such as like right there, on this corner right here, up in there. And this part really never got any gravel. Uh, it got like a half a load one day. I'm gonna go ahead and go get pumpkin. I'm gonna smooth this out because this is the route you wanna take when you're bringing big stuff in because you don't have to make any sharp curves so I'm get pumpkin smooth this out put some of that underlayment over it and when Jamie gets back I'll spread some gravel on top of our rough spots because we're supposed to have another week straight of rain out here and like I said there's a lot of flooding going on in the Portland area right now and uh, we can't stop moving because it's raining got to keep moving but as you can see there's a lot of good spots on my roads too I think we did a pretty good job for the time that we had and uh, doing it ourselves with our own old antique equipment I'm, I'm kind of happy with our roads but I'm gonna I'm gonna address these soft spots and uh, we'll just keep building that's what you do right you identify a soft spot you fix it uh, those things are heavy too so I gotta drop it in the right spot unroll it maybe I'll stick one of those on the back of pumpkin yeah up on his scraper blade I'll figure something out but I'll be back and uh, show you the the stream oh and my buddy Matt that some of my viewers might have remember from my first video out here from the first day I came out here I met one of the neighbors his name's Matt we spent a little time together today walking around and uh, he, he assured me that uh, the condition of the stream right now is about as high as it gets unless it's a hundred year flood like we had in 96 but I feel pretty good about it if he's saying it's a flood where it is now because we're not really in jeopardy and a lot of roads are flooded out so let's go check that out kind of like this stuff underlayment and it makes perfect sense anyway Jamie's not back with that first load yet, but she hasn't been gone that long. Just wanted to show you, you lay this out and you can kind of bend it around your curves and everything. And then I throw rocks on it down there to keep it from blowing around. But I'm gonna uh, disregard this low area right now because that's not really where I wanna be driving in with the tow truck and Marge, the trailer, uh, with trucks loaded on. I wanna come this way. And like I said, we never put any real rock in here. Half a load, I think, one day. And uh, it's basically just mud. So I'm gonna go back there, grab my orange pumpkin tractor, come out here, smooth this out, and continue with this roll. Uh, just going right here, 
and around these gentle bends and back to the parking area back there. Yeah, this is a bad corner. You can actually hit this corner and turn your wheel and you'll keep going straight. But we're gonna fix that. I think this underlayment would be a good thing out here. Uh, hopefully I'll have enough on that roll to get up to where the road's good again, up here. And this won't need much touch up back here. I already put some big rock down around the corner and stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's a mess and it needs to be dealt with because we got big trucks with heavy loads that need to go right there. So I'll continue up to here. What heck, I'll just keep going because I see another soft spot starting right here behind the truck. But we're pretty good on this corner and uh, there are only a few areas back here that are bad and it's been raining along uh, for a while for about a week and so uh, I'll probably put a stretch right there where it starts to get a little low but it's still pretty solid up here on the high spot and then in the middle out there by the containers because I do need to turn trucks around there and back up to the containers Curtis brought his first load out here trying to get him unloaded but I didn't want to jockey it around in these low spots and it's real muddy right here in the center what's kind of cool though is back there where I've got him parked it's real solid and that's where my temporary workshop is going to be after I put a roof on those things anyway I wanted to show you the river real quick or not the river the stream I don't know 12 15 feet above the water so if this is flood conditions I'm good with that let's go look at the river I love it out here just awesome nature's awesome anyway we'll go down to the river oh wait I'm putting uh, we'll go down to the river later because I've got to get back to work on the road it's easy to get sidetracked out here can't wait to have all my stuff out here and Jamie out here and just be able to work out here that'll be neat yeah I'll go back to work on my roads yeah I was smoothing the gravel out with pumpkin it looks like I found uh, some tack for Jamie for her horse anyway got it smoothed out Jamie just showed back up with the bullfrog dump truck with a load of gravel she actually did that pretty quick uh, but I smoothed this area out over here the best I could because it's soupy in there uh, and now I'm gonna roll the underlayment over that and, uh, proceed. And, uh, things should get better I think it'll work pretty good here honey trade me for a sec Jamie, Jamie that was pretty quick I'm like I'll be back for two loads. <laughs> all right. So he gave me all your receipts. He's like, here's all the receipts, Rick's receipts, and tell them the whole world. Yeah, put those with the property file. Uh, I'm trying to keep this shaped like I got it, honey. Okay. Uh, no, that's good. It looks good. Well, sometimes you have to put a wrinkle to make it turn. Think that think two rolls will be enough for us? You think two rolls will be enough? It'll certainly be better than what we have. So, just like everything else I've done on this property, I've discovered that there's a learning curve to putting down layment under your gravel. The first thing is, don't just take your roll and then roll a thousand feet of layment because the wind will catch it and it'll start blowing all over the place and uh, and don't do this either don't get frustrated because the winds blowing your layman all over the place and just dump a bunch of rock because now I got to pull all that tight which is okay I didn't want it blowing all over the place but I've been going down the front part of it pulling it tight and it is a good idea to, after you lay out, say, 100 feet, to put a light sprinkling of gravel over it because this is the area I still have to work on. But up here, I just had a sprinkling of gravel. Even if you make little piles like that, 
you can pull your layment tight, your underlayment tight, and just kick rocks around on top of it, and then it doesn't blow all over the place. So we're just going to slow down a little bit, focus on the second part of the driveway, which was the first place we had an issue, and uh, I'm going to back the dump truck right up to there where I finished pulling it tight. There's Jamie. She loves that air horn. I'm going to back the dump truck right up there and just start dumping it there and we'll focus on one area at a time. Yeah, she likes that dump truck. It's running really good, by the way. Oh, bullfrog. And she do like the air horn and the air brakes. She talks to that truck. <laughs> That's my girl. Back from the quarry with another load of gravel. I did order gravel. Well, we sure appreciate you bringing that on out here for us, ma'am. You look kind of cute in that big old antique dump truck. What? You want to trade? Yeah. All right. I just started filming when you pulled up Hawk the Air I go, and there's she. Was that my quickest trip yet? That's pretty good. She is doing good. Look, we're just going to uh, focus on short areas at a time because I notice when I get a little gravel on there, I can kick it around and it keeps it down. So I'm just going to back the dump truck up there to where it's flat and spread it this way and then I use pumpkin and we'll just keep doing it like that. I like this. You like I like underlayment, dump trucks, and gravel. <laughs> and you. Hey, his license plate says hers on it. H-R-X. Hers. Not his, hers. I love that trip. We like trucks. All the Dodges and the Fords and the Chevrolets. plate says hers, not his. HRX, hers. <laughs> oh, his greedy bar came out. I might have been going a little fast. I do have a reputation. His greedy bar came undone. It wasn't because I was going too fast.
I know it's always not a compliment. It's pretty darn close. thing. Stop. Stop kicking my truck. What? Stop kicking my truck. I can't hear you. Stop kicking my truck. Stop kicking my truck. I needed a good kicking. I'd get the tailgate close. Jamie, go, Jamie goes tracking out back. It's going to get dark pretty soon. He's going to jump out of a tree and get you. <laughs> oh, you are a cougar? <laughs> okay. Anyway, going to jump on pumpkin. Spread that stuff out a little more. I can see where we need a full day of bringing in gravel. And uh, since we just found out, we're good to go on uh, being moved in by the new year. Yeah, I like that. Uh, in a happy new year, it will be. But since we got a little time, I'm going to go ahead and fix these roads up and make them. Big truck friendly. So, going to work. Thanks for sharing the rain and wind and cold with us. And uh, we'll be back. I don't know if anyone will be able to see this, but this is a spot that Jamie and I always go down to at the stream. That's where Bigfoot was, right there that day. Yeah, that's where Bigfoot was walking up there. Yeah, that's our little stream. <laughs> it's still uh, way below any level that would cause us concern, but wow. This was all a bank, all the way up to that hump right there. Yeah, we usually stand on that hump right there. Wow. We usually stand right out there. And, uh, this is cool. Oh. Let's go down to the river. This is so neat. Wow. <laughs> That's a river. I just stepped out here and there was a huge log. I mean, it was like a redwood went drifting by. This is good though, because this is kind of cleaning our property off for us. All this debris is being washed out of the stream and the riverbed. A couple of logs hanging. You know what? I could probably use those. Hmm. Uh, gonna have to bring Homer fish. Honey, we're gonna have to bring Homer fishing out here. <laughs> Catch us some logs. Huh. Wow, just whipping those logs around like they're nothing. Holy cow. That's awesome. <laughs>